Yo, 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 yo. Yo, what's going on? Uh, what up? I think I'm live. I think I'm alive. I'm alive and I'm live. What's up, son? What's going on, everybody? Thanks for joining. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for tuning in. We'll see if I can pull off this drawing today. This is uh, it's going to be tough, I think. It's going to be tough. But uh, somebody gave me this idea yesterday in the chat, so I was like, all right, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's try to do it. So, um, yeah, we'll see if I can pull this off. <clears throat> How's everybody's day going? What's going on? <clears throat> all right. I'm just gonna start, uh... hey, how's it going? Welcome, thanks for joining. I'm just gonna start blocking this thing in quickly, as always. <clears throat> Try to get the proportions right away as, as best I can. Can you do a big dog next time? What kind of dog? There's a lot of big dogs, so, and they all look different. You talking like German Shepherd, Alaskan Malamute, or like, you know, uh, I don't know. There's a bunch of other kinds of big dogs I can't even think of. What's going on, MX Jam? Thanks for uh, tuning in. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Hello, hello. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Good to see you guys. Good to see everybody. So we'll see. What I was saying earlier is we'll see if I can pull this drawing off. It's going to be a little tricky. Uh, it feels tricky to me. Anyway. But I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. That's all I can do. Just loosely blocking in the uh, face and stuff a little bit. You guys have any questions or whatever man just uh, let me know I should have thought of a topic to really talk about today uh, I was thinking about that last time because sometimes I'm very quiet the whole time I don't want to be boring I don't want to be like super quiet the whole time so but uh, I didn't I didn't come up with a subject or a topic so if you guys have anything else to talk about other than like toilet, other than toilet paper and coronavirus, I'd rather talk about something else for sure. I'm so I'm so done with that whole topic. <laughs> uh. How was your day, Brandon? Uh, it was pretty good. Pretty good, just did some work today and uh, yeah, a little bit of work. Not a whole lot of work today, but you know, sometimes, sometimes there's a lot of work, sometimes there's no work. So it's, it's all a balance. Today was one of a bit of a slower day. So I'm just trying to find placement of some of these features. 
before I really solidify them in, make them official here. Okay, looks a little weird. <laughs> uh, Brent says, let's talk about all the wild figs that are going to go uneaten in Davis now. I don't know, dude. I did think I've been thinking about that. I thought about it a few months ago and uh, it's not even close to being fig season yet, but I was just saying, you know what? I'm going to make a trip down to Davis when it's season. I'm going to bring a big bag and I'm going to just be getting the ripe ones that I can. So there's definitely going to be some uneaten, but I'm going to try to get some of them. I love the figs, man. Whew. I love the figs. They're like the marshmallows of the fruit world, man. If anyone's ever had like fresh, ripe figs, it's just like a, oh man, it's so amazing. It's just so incredible. It's probably my one of my favorite fruits ever. I wish you could get them all year round. I wish there was like an eternal fig tree that just always had figs growing in it and just, ah, uh, all year round, It'd be amazing. Oh, okay, that's way too far out. So I'm just focusing on the proportions here, obviously trying to trying to get this to look a little look somewhat correct correct enough for me to start inking it and, and just be done with this thing yeah this one was it seemed a bit difficult for me to do this one but uh, I figured let's give it a shot why not let's try it out man let's try it out And look at that forehead, it just caves in like crazy. These things are so strong. Man, I got the proportions all off. Something's wrong here.
just trying to line things up like this. I'm just, I'm, I'm like looking at the corner of the nose compared to forehead and stuff. Like I'm just trying to, trying to line things up. Uh, how are you doing right now? I'm doing pretty well. I'm just trying to get this drawing. I don't know, man. I don't know. This is, kind of, this is pretty tricky here. Um, the specific dog breed I'd like you to possibly draw is a Great Dane. Okay. Could try that. Could try that. We'll see. Can you do a car in your next video, please? Um, I don't know, man. I don't know if I, I might try drawing a car. I don't know. Uh, I could try that. Might be interesting. Never really drawn cars that much, at least recently. When I was a kid, I did, but uh, I think I had a drawing book for like how to draw cars and stuff, a little cartoon type of book. I had a bunch of those growing up, like how to draw 50 cars, how to draw 50 animals. Like I had a bunch of those. Those were always pretty fun. I would just try to copy everything in them. I don't know. Does it look like a line? I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm just going to keep going. I'm <laughs> just keep going. I'm not, I can't. Nothing I can really do. Just got to do my best here. I don't want to take forever on this drawing, so I want to do like, I want to spend like an hour. So I got about eh, maybe one more hour from now. Loosen this up a little bit, get some more sketchier type of lines. There we go, maybe that's better or something. I don't know. Maybe it's like the lack of shadowing makes this look so weird. Okay, I think I'm, I'm missing some stuff in the chat here. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, can you do a car? Hello, Brandon. At what age? At what age you discover that you're into drawing? Do you think if we start a bit later, we still have a chance to be an artist? Absolutely, absolutely can. I started drawing when I was like four or five, but I really didn't get serious about drawing until I was in like college, you know, like late high school, college. So when I got serious about it, but I did have like pretty good hand-eye coordination by then. Um, but I wasn't really. I wasn't like. You know, I don't know that I'm still really that great. I mean, look at this thing. It's not really that great, but I mean, pretty good for like 10 minutes of drawing so far, 15 minutes and just trying to block it in quickly. But yeah, you definitely, definitely, it's never too late. Um, Brent says, after that video, I tried figs off the shelf for the first time. Very good. Yeah, just wait, man. Figs off the shelf are good. And then figs off the tree is another level. It's a whole nother level, dude. It's like, inc it's incredible. They taste like, it's, it's like a, a sweet, syrupy, marshmallow, fluffy. Oh, it's amazing. The ones off the shelf are okay, but I feel like they pick them a little too soon. 
just like with every fruit on the shelf, it's always picked a little too soon just because the transit time and the, you know, has to be on the shelf for a few days and stuff. But, and they're so expensive in the store, it's ridiculous. You know, $8 a pound for this little, you know, I get, I got like two pounds of it in like 15 minutes for free off the tree. And there was like, just like tons of hundreds of pounds on the tree, man. Hey, Brandon, what do you think about the books of Andrew Loomis? Um, I think they're pretty good. I think uh, I've only seen like one or two of them, I think. I'm trying to remember which one he did. One of them was kind of silly, like How to Draw the Heads in Hand. I think Hands, I think that's one of his books, How to Draw the Heads in Hand. I don't know, it wasn't that great, but he had another one on like How to Draw Heads by Itself, I think. I don't know, there was one of them I thought was pretty good, but... Or maybe part of it was good. I, I don't know. I can't remember. I'm getting them confused with another artist. Uh, anyway. Were you eating dried figs in one of your vlogs? No, I was eating them fresh off the tree. Picking them fresh off the tree in one of my vlogs. Like back in like 2018. That's when I, I think 2019 too. But, uh, or no, no, 2018, I guess. Um, are you, are you gonna, are you gonna also draw the background like the trees? No, I don't really plan on that. Um, I just want to focus on the lion and maybe a little bit of the rocks here. Just have that be my focus. I don't want to, I start putting stuff like trees and stuff in there and it gets a little too much, I think. Um, maybe I can try that one day, play around with it, but for now, uh, we'll just stick with this movie that you recommend uh oh that's a good that's a good question my mind is going blank right now there's a great show on amazon if you have amazon prime there's a great show, show called humans i really recommend that show there's only three seasons and uh really great show but movie i'm trying to think of movie There's this one weird movie I just watched. I think I watched it on Amazon Prime as well the other night. It was called 41. Very, really interesting, bizarre kind of movie. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm into like weird movies like that that are kind of never really heard of them. Or you don't really hear about them. But it had a pretty good storyline, I think. Didn't really expect it. But I like a lot of weird movies and stuff. So unfortunately, I can't think of anything on top of my head. I've, I've seen so many weird movies lately in the past few months. I'm currently drawing right now. Watching you do this makes me feel good about myself for some reason. Because <laughs> this drawing sucks right now. That's why. Uh... No, that's cool. Glad to hear that you're drawing. I'm gonna try to, we gotta get this in. I gotta get this in. Um, just trying to catch, I don't wanna lose all these comments and stuff in the chat here. Um, Have you got any tips for motorcycles? I can't draw the engine. Just draw what you see. That's the only tip I got, man. Just draw what you see is there. If you say you can't draw it, then you probably can't. It's all in your it's all in your mind, dude. You gotta be positive. If you're having trouble, print it out and trace it and then figure out like why like figure out, break it down like how to draw that. Like if you can trace it. Then tr after you trace it, try drawing a freehand. Like, why can't you draw it? I don't know. I hope that helps in some way. Um, is this hard for you? Yeah, it definitely is. This is definitely hard for me. I'm having, I'm having trouble. I'm really struggling right now. I knew this was going to be a challenge before I started it. And I guess maybe that made it harder for me. <laughs> 
If I would have thought it was easy, maybe it would have been easier. Why did you cut your hair short? Oh man, that was like so many years ago. Cause I, I got tired of it, uh, messing with it. Um, it was too much of a hassle having long hair. Like t every time I take a shower, I had to like blow dry it and stuff. Yeah, it was just a pain. I have more respect. Uh, I mean, I already respect women, but I have way more respect for them now, given that I've had long hair and I see how much of a pain it is. Like if I was a woman, I would definitely have short hair. <laughs> I could not deal with having long hair. Um, thanks, SFS Eagle. I mean, it's always rough starting out. I definitely have some, there's definitely some issues here with proportions or something. I, I'm, I'm really, I'm really struggling right now. It's kind of annoying. Like this needs to go down like this, but then that goes way up. I'm just, I'm not really sure what's happening here. I don't know if I made his face like too wide or something or it's not, I'm not getting the same thickness that I, like when I look at him, I just see his snout is like this, it's like thick. Like it just looks real and mine, it just looks crappy. It looks like, he looks like a little teddy bear type of version, a teddy bear lion or something. I see the problem. This is going way down too far. It shouldn't even go down that far at all. Yeah, there's something there's something off here. Something something is funny. I'm not If anybody can like point it out blatantly, like, hey, this is completely off. Like, I'd appreciate it if anybody sees something that's way, way off. Um, but if not, that's fine too. <sighs> what do you think would be your best drawing? I have no idea. Uh, I really like the moose drawing I did yesterday. That one was pretty good. Do you have any other hobby apart from art? Um, Uh, yeah, I like making music. All the music on my videos in the last few years have been exclusively made by me. So any music you hear, like in the outros, the intros, you know, uh, that's me making the music. So uh, if you feel comfortable answering, how much money do you make on YouTube? A couple hundred bucks a month. That's about it. Um... Yeah, not not a whole lot, really, to be honest. Especially after you factor in taxes and stuff. Yeah, I mean, it's really not not a whole lot at all. Um, nose is too small. Yeah, I don't know. I get. Yeah, I thought so too. I was kind of fixing it, or I thought it was too big, and then, I don't know. I don't know, something just looks really weird. Something looks really, really weird. I can't put my, my brain on it. I don't know if it's just because I don't have the light on there shaded or anything. If it's missing the dots here, like, I don't know what it is. I think his face over here, that's probably what it is. This is too fat.
Oh man, this is a disaster. Alright guys, hope you enjoy this disaster of a video. Of a live stream. <laughs> oh man. All right, let's stay positive, man. Let's 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 we got we got this. We got this. All right, guys, we got this. Okay, okay, there we go. Bringing it together. I think. Oh man, a lot of comments here. Here, a lot of comments. Uh. What software do you use to make your music? FL Studio 20 or something like that. FL Studio on Mac. The snout could be too long or too narrow. Ugh. Yeah, too long. You're probably right. The nose needs to come up, right? Is that what it is? Is that what I think? Is that the problem? I think the angle, I think the angle of this is off. Angle of his mouth. Cause it needs to like come down more. Sharply. Right? Still, just looks does not look as cool as the photo. All right, I can't I can't fuss over it too much. I gotta just get through this. I don't want to be here for like two hours. I want to be done at like a half an hour. So I gotta get through this. Just start inking this thing. God, if this wasn't a live stream, I would just quit right now and start over. <laughs> oh God, well, not every live stream is gonna be the greatest thing. So you guys are witness it right now. Did I pass the vibe check? I'm not sure what you mean. <laughs> How do you choose which reference photo makes a good sketch? Uh, I kind of look at the lighting for the most part and just the overall composition of the animal and stuff. Um, have you ever gotten mad so much at one drawing that you ended up burning it? Uh, no, but I've crumbled it up and thrown it away. I wouldn't put that much energy into like burning something. Look at the picture, then how you drew the mouth, lips. Yeah, I see it. I see it and it's wrong. I get it. I, I'm looking at it. What do you guys mean by lips? The lion doesn't have any lips. You're talking about his like this part of it or are you talking about the line i mean there's no lips on a line bring the right side in over here what right side this are you talking about this right side his right side my right side it's the mouth mouth okay where what mouth <laughs> 
Which paper are you drawing on? Tone tan. Tone tan, Strathmore tone tan. All right. Anyway, let's, uh, oh man, you guys are commenting a lot. I gotta, I gotta get through this drawing. Yeah, let's do it. Let's, let's keep, let's keep locking this thing in here. Brent, Brent is right. Let's keep, let's keep going. Uh, is this what you guys are talking about? Bring this in? I think I see what you guys mean now. <laughs> I'm an idiot. There we go. A little bit better, better perspective there. foreshortening or whatever better All right, it's good as it's gonna get. I think that's, I'm happy with that actually. It actually kind of came together. Thank you guys for helping me out, appreciate it. The mouth and his left side of face. Okay, yeah, I think I see what you're saying. I still don't see the mouth. I'm, just, I'm still kind of trying to figure the mouth out, but. Um. It's gonna have to just it's gonna have to be what it is, I think. Yeah, I'm not sure. Uh, what about the mouth? Let's see, like a line here. Oh, does this need to come up? Is this? All right, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. All right, good enough, good enough. Not perfect, uh, this is awful down here. Looks like a kindergartner, like kindergartner drew that, jeez. not having the best luck today, I guess. Or the best skill today, I don't know.
All right, it's time for some fun now. So we got a ghost lion here. Looks a lot better like that, actually. <clears throat> Using the 05 Prismacolor. Just got this thing uh, yesterday, day before. So I'm just focusing on, uh, yeah, just focus on getting some of the lines in here. <sighs> this is an off-topic question but what are your thoughts on COVID-19 right now uh, I'm tired of hearing about it basically to be honest um, yeah that's pretty much it um I don't know, to me it just feels like it's blown out of proportion, but I don't really know. I'm not like a doctor or anything, but I mean, obviously it's bad and people are dying and stuff. I'm not saying that, that that's not happening, but it just seems like, I don't know, man. It's just all this, it's so crazy. But who knows, man, I don't really know. I'm just, I'm just overhearing about it. Who really knows what's going on or what's gonna happen and stuff, I think just a lot of uncertainty and just craziness, just a bunch of craziness.
What's going on, Philip? Welcome back. I like that this is a place of just like art and peace. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Um, So, I don't think this is going to be as good as the moose one, but I always have trouble with these lions, man. I think I see the problem now. Now I see the problem. This line needs to come way down. I'm correcting this in pen, and that's really not the best way to do it, but... Yeah, his forehead was way too big. Dude, his whole face was way too tall. There's like barely any space here. That's what it needs to be. Oh boy. I can't believe it. just when I go to ink it, I see the problem. Why didn't I see that when I was drawing it? Like, even this needs to be lower. This should be lower. Oh, boy. Okay, anyway, this is going to be an interesting drawing. Random question, do you speak or understand any other language or which one would you like to learn? Um, <laughs> uh, you know, I, I, in the past I've, I've tried learning a few different ones, but I uh, never really stuck with them in the past. But uh, yeah, I, I know a little bit of, of a few of them, but not a lot. There's one I know more of than anything right now, but yeah, anyway. <laughs> uh... Okay, I really don't like this drawing. This is probably the worst drawing I've done on a live stream, so I am not happy with this one at all. I'm really just trying to get through this now. I think I just need to finish it. I am like really not happy with this one. Apologize folks, I gave it a shot. Gave it my best shot. Sorry, I've been drawing down here the whole time. You guys can't see it. No. This is depressing. <laughs> Trying to stay positive so hard, but it's just like, oh, this one's bad, man. This one's bad. That block in was not good. I really tried fixing it, but uh, I saw the problem too late, and yeah. I'm not even sure how to go about shading this thing. I just, I don't, I really don't know. I'm gonna have to try a line another time soon because I don't want this, 
I don't want this to defeat me. I have a few more photos of lions actually. So we're gonna do this again, that's no doubt. Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm a graphic designer for a healthcare company. And I don't make I don't make professional living off my art. I'm not a professional artist yet. No, I mean I'm not gonna I'm not gonna quit after an hour. I just I wanted to give I wanted to do it an hour, but I'm not gonna I'm not like rushing on this. I'm just I already don't like how it came out. I don't have like I don't have like a strict time limit on this. I just didn't want to take two hours to draw this thing. Uh... Yeah, everybody liked the video, dude. Just because the drawing sucks doesn't mean you can't like the video. Still like the video. Uh... All right, it's not too bad, it's not too bad. It's coming together, I think. It's not gonna be like perfect. Obviously, obviously it's not gonna be perfect, holy crap. But, it may be the worst drawing I've ever done. 
maybe not. Do you always use the same thickness of pen or different, if different parts, which parts are different? Um, usually the same, same. I use 05 the whole time, mostly. Usually if I use like a thinner one or a thicker one, it starts looking a little funny, but it just depends. Sometimes I thicken up the lines, some of the line work. Um, can you make a speech to all the art teachers who limit art and make it not fun? Not really, it's just a waste of time. <laughs> Uh, basically, those teachers are lame. That's basically it. Um, usually draw with music when you're not streaming here. Yeah, I usually listen to like a podcast or I'll listen to music, something like that. Try to get, helps me get in the zone a bit. Really focus. Um, what type of music is your favorite or bands or singers? You know, I like a bunch of different stuff. I mean, I used to be into heavy metal mostly, but um, I'm into more kind of like chillo, chillo, more mellow, chill type of rock now for the most part. I do have some heavy stuff that I listen to from time to time when I'm in the right mood, which I'd probably be listening to right now, like just angrily drawing this if I could. But, uh, uh, you know, but I also listen to like NF. I like rap, like NF is really good. I like Halsey. I like Aurora, you know, some kind of pop, a little bit of that. I'm very particular with what I listen to and stuff for the most part. But I'm also very open-minded about it too. Like I don't, you know, I'm open to anything. One of my favorite bands is a local band in San Francisco called uh, The Y Axes. They're really cool, really great album that they made, put out last year. I've seen them live a few times in like little Little bars and stuff, man. It's just a great band. Really great. So, yeah, I just listen to a bunch of different stuff. So, for the shading, I'm kind of just scribbling now and just seeing what's going to come out of it. I don't really know. Kind of, I've kind of lost all patience with this drawing, but I mean, it's still, it's not like horrible. It looks kind of cool. You know, it has its own unique kind of style. Once I add in a little bit of white in there, it's gonna be cool. It's an 05. So the numbers they have on these, here I'll show you, I'll zoom in. Numbers on these pins are just, 
I'm using the O5. Man. <sighs> what is the longest an artwork has taken you? I don't know, a few days, I guess. There's some that aren't finished, so you could say there's still some ongoing ones, but yeah. No, I don't know Red. I think I've heard Red like years and years and years ago, but only like one song or something. Yeah, The Seed by Aurora, really great song. She does a lot of cool stuff, man. I like Running with the Wolves. Her first album is, like, amazing. Her first album is perfect the way it is. Like, every song is just it's incredible. I connect with the first album, like, so much. I can listen to the whole album and not change the song. Going through the whole thing. Yeah, I, I, I like Aurora's older album better than her newer ones, but, you know, that's always what happens with artists a lot for the most part. The newer stuff always sounds a little bit different, you know, but whatever. Everybody has to change and evolve, you know. She still makes good songs and stuff. It's just, you know, it's always different. Always ends up happening. Okay, 7.01, so got a little bit more time here. Try to bring this to a good finish if I can. I'm trying to think of this hair down here in terms of like clumps. If I can. It's hard because I have to. I'm, I'm filling in the negative space, all the shading, and not the positive shapes of the hair. So it's a little bit different, a little bit tricky. Philip says, I think it's important to see this part of the artistic process. Sometimes it doesn't turn out how we expect, and that's okay. The line has character, my dude. Yeah, exactly, man. Sometimes, you know, that's uh, and that's what my videos are about a lot of the time. It's like, you know what? You're going to make mistakes. Things are going to happen. Things aren't going to go how you planned. But you learn stuff from this one. And like I said, I want to try and draw another line again and try to conquer this lion. You know what I mean? I feel like I'm being attacked by a lion right now. So I got to... I gotta come back and kill this thing. Figuratively speaking, I would never kill a lion. I love animals. And if I can make the rest of the stuff around him look even sketchier, then it'll make him look a little more finished, maybe. I don't know. Everything's relative, right? So if the rest of it is all sketchy, then kind of feel like he belongs in this s sketchy environment. But I'm also just letting out some frustration as well. <laughs> uh. Yeah, Queendom's a good song too. I like that one too, for sure. 
What is your favorite NF song? Uh, probably, oh, that's tough. I can't, I haven't listened to them in a while. I'm trying to think. Hmm, I really like his new album. His new album is really good. New album is really, really good. Um, yeah, anyway. Yeah, I related a lot to that new album last year. It was like perfect timing. All right. Well, look at this crazy mess. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, sorry folks, I'm sorry this didn't turn out how I wanted. I'm gonna keep pressing on here. Let's hit the white, let's get the white in there. I feel like that might help it, might help it. I might not try a lion again tomorrow, but maybe soon for sure when I feel like it. I'm not sure what I'm going to draw tomorrow or if I'm going to do a live stream tomorrow. If I do do one, we'll have to see what happens. What do you guys think? Is it coming together at all? I don't know. Maybe a little bit. What you guys think? What you guys think? Where do you buy needed erasers? You can never find them. Um, you buy them from me because I got a whole bunch. No, I got a whole bunch of them. No, I get them on Amazon, dude. Every, if I don't know what country you're in, but I get my stuff on Amazon always. Um, the art store usually has them, maybe. I don't know. I don't know, man. I, I, I always go online. There's like Dick Blick, Jerry's Artorama. Um, you know, any kind of online art store is going to have them. Definitely went sketchier today. I think I, I think I didn't have patience for this today. I'm not really sure why. Uh, I don't know. I, I think that block-in process and it being so annoying up here. This actually turned out okay, even though I kind of like screwed up the whole, you know, I think I kind of fixed it. I think it came out all right, looking at it now. 
but I probably should have simplified the lighting a bit more, like really brought things together. Like all this light area, bring that together. But uh, I think I lost my patience right at the beginning there, unfortunately. I apologize, guys. <laughs> uh, sometimes it happens, it just... I think as soon as I noticed the error when I was doing the inking, I was like, you gotta be kidding me. Like, how did I not see this? I just kind of got annoyed. I let my emotions overcome my, my, my strength. But uh, yeah, it doesn't look too bad, I don't think. Let's see, let's just get some white right there. Am I missing anything anywhere? Let's see. How can I unify this thing more? It just looks so, it doesn't look as unified, you know? Maybe I need to make this lighter. Let's just make this all white. on this side of his face, really push it, I guess. Is that better? I don't know. It's hard because he has like white on him and then he's in light, but he's not white there. And then there's white in the shadow. Like it's just yeah, a lot going on here. What do you think of abstract art? Is it really art or just nonsense? I think a lot of it's probably nonsense, but I mean, at the end of the day, it's all just about how you feel. And if people are expressing themselves, then that's cool. And if people interact with that and feel a certain way when they look at it, I mean, that's cool. You know, I can't tell people it's not my place to tell people what to make or what to create, so I try to not even think about it anymore. It sort of looks like a courtroom sketch, like the sketcher elements make me, sketchier elements make me wonder why this lion is on trial. <laughs> what was the night of the, uh, where was he on the night of the fifth? That's hilarious. I kind of like the sketchy look about the drawing. Thanks, I appreciate it. Um, I tried trying here it's, de it's definitely different than my other ones that's for sure uh, definitely different I'm trying to unify some of this lighting now just Probably too much, too much white everywhere. Whatever, whatever. Still hope you guys enjoyed this little process, this little interesting uh, meltdown or whatever you want to call it. Sometimes even when it's not working out, you just gotta keep rolling with it, see what happens. Might be a good drawing, might not be, but you never know. It's like reading a book, you never know what's gonna happen until you gotta turn the page to see what's gonna happen, you know what I mean? Can't just give up on the book, usually. I mean, I do a lot of the times, but <laughs> that's a different story. But that's the analogy, you know what I mean? Just keep rolling with it.
Yeah. All right. That's pretty interesting. Is there anything I blatantly missed? Like, what could I, what could I do here? Darken up some of this. I mean, that kind of helped a bit. Maybe more shadowing in here. Like... What do you guys think? What do you guys think? This needs to be darker all back here. Okay, let's check out the. Uh... No, I saw the I saw the moose you painted, Brent. That was pretty good, man. That was really good. I saw that on Instagram. Yeah, that came out really cool, man. Have you ever almost complete a large art project and then got disgusted the way it turned out and threw it away? Uh, not really. I haven't really done much large art projects. I haven't done enough to get disgusted with them anyway. <laughs> Something large I'd usually like plan out, you know. <laughs> you threw down that pin. Yeah, I did, man. I don't know. I'm not. I'm just not. I'm not feeling this. I'm not feeling this at all. Everything looks so disconnected. Like I, I should have really I'm trying to simplify stuff so it doesn't stick out as much. I'm not. I'm not feeling uh, a lot of this. Um, I'm trying to just bring stuff together right now, like trying to figure it out. There's more I could just keep adding. I don't think that's gonna help it really. Unfortunately, usually you think that'd be the case. Like, yeah, just keep adding stuff, keep adding stuff. But a lot of the times, the more you keep adding, like I'm doing right now, the worse it becomes. Like, just you can't like improve it by just adding and adding and adding. So, oh, that's it is what it is. I think I darken this now slightly. Yeah.
Yeah, not not my best effort, guys. Really not my best effort. I mean, just look at it. It's pretty. I should have stuck to the vertical lines I've been doing. This is like all over the place. A lot of scribbles. So, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Really don't know. Not sure what happened. Not exactly sure what happened with this one. <laughs> Something happened. But, uh, anyway. You guys have any uh, questions real quick? I'll answer them in like the next five or 10 minutes. Other than that, I'm gonna get off here and go cry and um, yeah <clears throat> break break up line on right side and you're finished well, be more descriptive, man. There's like what right side? Up here, down here, this line, this tail. Is that right? I think that's what you're talking about. This line right here, breaking that up. I see what you're saying. Or break it up like this. Come on, man, you guys are supposed to be artists, You're supposed to be descriptive, observant, break up line on right side. I mean, what does that mean? <laughs> what does that mean? Uh, no, it's all good. I'm just kidding. Are you going to stream tomorrow? Yeah, I might. I'm, I, if I can, I'll try to, for sure. Same time, like 5.30 p.m., 6 o'clock Pacific Standard Time. It's usually uh, usually when I do it. And hopefully it'll be better than this thing. I don't know what to call this. I don't really know. But uh, yeah, I think I should have simplified a lot more. Should have been only a little bit of white and the dark should have been more, I don't know. There, there's something about it. It should have been way more simplified, solidified, somethingified. You know, it just should have been betterified. <laughs> I don't know. I'm trying to darken some of these shadows ever so slightly. I don't know. I, I don't know. Anyway. Oh, the line on his face. Like, break this up, this white part. I mean, I don't really know what to do there. I break this up on his face. I mean, there's a lot of on his face. You talk, oh, this line, this dark line here. Break that up. I think that's what you're talking about. You're probably right. You're probably right. Anyway, I guess that might have added some depth, something. Uh, anyway. Anyway, anyway, appreciate it, appreciate it. It's okay, the next one will be better. Sometimes it's better to step away than force it, but I think it's still a great drawing. Appreciate it, appreciate your positive outlook. I just arrived and I think it looks great. Thanks, appreciate it. Here's a close up for you guys if you care to see it, I guess. Um, hey Brandon, the shading has brought it together nicely, so don't stress it. Your drawings and watercolors are fantastic, but I was wondering if you have done any oil painting recently. No, I haven't done any oil painting since about this time last year, so I don't really know if I'm going to go back to oils. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking at like minimizing my life and my, my art setups and everything, and 
watercolor is just too fun, man. I just oil painting is is just too much stuff, man. Too much stuff. What if you try to draw a flamingo tomorrow? <laughs> Actually, I was looking up pictures of flamingos the other day. I have a few, so maybe that's a good idea. Um, the right side of the lion's lower mane needs to be a little more fuller. The right side of the lion's lower mane. Yeah, man, I don't know, dude. It's not gonna help it. It's not gonna help it. <laughs> I've given up at this point. Yeah, someone said stop messing with it or it'll bite you. Exactly. You know, it's... I don't know. Yeah, it's not, it's it's just, uh, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter at this point. I think it's pretty much it, man. Um, so anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to get off here, and uh, I will catch you guys tomorrow, hopefully. If not tomorrow, the next day. You guys know how it is. Sometimes, sometimes I'm here, sometimes I'm not. But uh, appreciate you guys. It's always cool hanging out with you, talking with you. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. Hope you enjoyed this one. Hopefully tomorrow we're going to do better. We're going to do better tomorrow. So take care, take care of yourself, guys. Keep on drawing. Don't get discouraged like me. Keep sticking with it. I got to order a new sketchbook because I only have like three more pages left in this thing. So I got to definitely put an order for that soon. So anyway, see you guys later. Peace.